This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Friday, October 20th. In the money, in the 22-23 financial year, Australia's cruise industry saw a 22% increase from pre-pandemic levels, reaching a record $5.6 billion in economic impact. This reported by the Australian Cruise Association. The boost came after the government lifted that long two-year ban on cruising back in April of 2022. Here's how it all broke down. As a result, 18,000 jobs were created and cruise-related wages totaled $1.82 billion. The country welcomed 1,354 ships and cruise visitors spent a total of $1.5 billion. Wow. And thanks to a new $5 cruise tax, you'll be funding the new pier in St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands Port Authority, Royal Caribbean, and Cruise Terminals International have partnered to expand the ports on St. Croix and St. Thomas with a focus on Crown Bay in St. Thomas. Now, the project will modernize the Crown Bay Cruise Center and expand the Austin Monsanto Marine Terminal over there in St. Thomas. Royal Caribbean also said that they are committed to expanding pier infrastructure over there in St. Croix to dock Freedom Class cruise ships. And here's a Friday story for you. A 39-year-old man was detained after reportedly making a bomb threat against a cruise ship docked in Singapore last weekend. The threat delivered via an email to Resorts World Cruises led to a rapid security response. Although no explosives were found, the scene did disrupt the embarkation of about 4,000 cruise passengers for two hours. The man who was upset, Mr. Neo, was arrested within three hours of the threat and he could face up to seven years in jail in a $50,000 fine or both. And the photo of the week comes from Myland MSC Maravilla at Ocean Key. Love this photo at night here. If you have a photo, send it in, Doug at cruiseradio.net. Just remember, all photos are subject to broadcast. And a listener question, I'm not even reading this. No, if you don't like me wearing a sweatshirt, it's like five o'clock in the morning. Get over it, watch something else. And cruise line stocks were down on Thursday. Carnival Corporation 11.39, down 2.6%. Royal Caribbean down 1%, 82.08. And Norwegian down 2.5%, 13.96. Got a lead on the story? Send it my way. Tips at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great weekend.